so to set the stage, everyone, um, to, to give you guys a good general understanding of kind of what we're looking at, uh, obviously over here on the right side of the screen is going to be the Filevine platform, uh, what the activity looks like from a specific project. And then over here on the left side is going to be the actual mobile application of the case status platform uh, that is specific to the client. So this is exactly what it's going to look like from the client perspective. You can see here, uh, this is my actual phone. It's a live setting uh, to, so that you get a better understanding of what that journey will look like from start to finish. Now, uh, you can see through the application, uh, what, you know, we're really providing this operational efficiency uh, for your practice by giving clients kind of that answer to their number one question, right? It's going to be a branded experience. It's going to have the firm's logo and color scheme uh, on the application uh, to act as an extension of the firm. And as uh, as, as Paul mentioned, we make it extremely easy for the client to log in and actually use the platform. So we have that 70, 85% adoption. A big reason for that is because client gets a simple text message with a link to the app store. Uh, the client downloads the app and then all they have to do is enter their cell phone number, a verification code, and that is it. Uh, no need for any sort of usernames or passwords or extra credentials. Uh, you know, a client may not have access to that credential. They may not have access to a computer, but they definitely have access to a cell phone or a smartphone. And so making it extremely simple, extremely secure for the client to log in where that other 15, 20% of people that are not downloading case status are still going to receive every single message, update, document, image via text where they can just text you right back and forth like a regular texting thread. And so really get, you know, meeting your clients where they're at and providing that mobile piece. You know, Paul kind of hit the nail on the head there where everyone's got a phone line around, everyone is waiting for instant updates. Uh, you can track an Amazon package, you know, you can track the, uh, any sort of banking transactions. You know, we want that same approach for a legal matter. When we're looking at the application side from case status, we can really see the answer of what's going on, right? What's my status? What's currently happening? Uh, as the client, I can see that I'm on a personal injury case. You know, I'm, my, my current status is treatment. If I hit this more button, I can see, hey, we appreciate you, you know, trusting our law firm to handle your case. Please watch our welcome video. But really giving me a nice overview of what's happening with a nice visual aid below of where I stand in my case. Uh, I, I want to have that access into my journey so I'm not calling the firm. Uh, constantly, and so I, I have that here through the application. As I'm walking through my current status as the client, I can walk through the entire process or journey from start to finish, so that I have a nice overview of, hey, you know, step one is treatment, which is where I'm at right now, but if I wanted to look ahead, I can see two is gonna be released from treatment, three is attorney review, four is negotiations, five is settled, six is escrow, and then case closed. And so really walking client through this process so that they can answer their own questions. You know, we're, we're gonna build this muscle memory for a client to log in as opposed to calling in, which, you know, Paul had took that poll out, right? A lot of inbound traffic coming in, just asking for updates. Uh, but more importantly, we're really gonna be setting the expectation from day one. A lot of those phone calls that come in are typically the same phone call. Hey, what's going on? I just wanted to get an update. You give the client an update, client may call back next week. They may have forgot what you said. They just want that peace of mind. And so this provides that peace of mind, that one-stop shop, and just equips, equipped with Filevine just makes the day-to-day -day for your staff extremely simple and easy. So we've talked about a little bit about a case getting created or a project getting created in Filevine. That's going to automatically create the case and case status so that there's no need for that double entry. The concept that we have of stages in case status can actually be mapped to specific phases in Filevine so that we can set up so that as a Filevine member here, I may have stages that may be a little bit more confusing for my client. Uh, it may be more so for internal updates, uh, more so for my staff to get a view. But we can map specific phases so that I can say, when I move to damages in this specific project, I want that to actually trigger in case status to move to the next stage of the case. So I'll make this quick change here so you can get a general understanding of what it's gonna look like. But here in a second, I'm gonna get a notification on the application as the client that my case is actually moved to the next stage of the case. So a client gets notified, they move from stage one to stage two. You can see the application uh, getting notified there. I would get a push notification just like any regular app would, or I would get a simple text message letting me know. But we can see that I'm now in stage two. So from a workflow perspective, your staff members are gonna stay within Filevine for most of their day to day, 
but really uh, using that horsepower that comes of case status to really accompany the messaging, the updates, uh, and the automation that comes with it. So we can see that we can update a phase based off of a specific case and case status. Uh, from a messaging standpoint, we really wanna give clients and staff members one single source of the truth. You think about this mix of phone calls, emails, text messages, you know, hopefully none of you all are out, you know, out there giving out your personal cell phone number, right? Because that's when all the boundaries are gone. They're calling crazy hours of the day. We want to have one place for the client and one place for the staff. And so from the client perspective, they're going to have access to a messages tab where they're going to receive every single message, every update, every document, every image here on the messages tab. Uh, keep in mind that if they do not download the app, there's, they can still text you right back, right? Uh, where all they're doing is just hitting the send a message button. They're typing a message out, you know, hey there, just for the sake of this of this demo. Uh, they'll type their message out. We can see here on Filevine that I just got uh, uh, notified live on the spot from the Filevine account. So you'll get notified when a new message comes in. It's going to come here through this hashtag case status and hashtag message thread, where, again, from a workflow perspective, uh, all you have to do is open up this thread of communication. You'll see the message that's been sent back and forth, the history of what has been shared back and forth in case status, so that as a staff member, I'm going to be able to see what that message is. And then, again, as simple as it, as it looks here, I can easily just respond back through the actual thread in Filevine. I send the message out through Filevine through this thread. The client then gets the message in case status. We can see that I've now gotten the message through the case status platform. So really utilizing Filevine as much as possible so that it remains the source of truth for the firm, but again, really uh, having case status as that direct replacement to whatever you're using now to communicate with your clients. We have hashtags on here from a Filevine perspective uh, for NPS scores so that whenever a client kind of rates their experience, and Paul kind of touched on it, where when a case is moving from stage to stage, and maybe I'll close out the app to see if it'll actually pop up on me here. But what, as a case is moving, yeah, and it looks like it did, so it worked out perfectly. As a case goes from stage to stage in case status, your client is going to be required to rate their experience from a zero to 10 net promoter score. They also have the option to leave any sort of feedback. So I'll put a nine, uh, I won't leave any sort of feedback, so I'm just gonna submit that information. And then as a client, I'm just back in my case. Now, this hard concrete data, and you can see it got notified here in Filevine, this hard concrete data is now yours to then look for more opportunities for uh, reviews and referrals. Another hashtag here for NPS uh, can allow me to open up this thread. And now I have a clean history of what scores my clients have left me. Now I can take advantage of the automations that are set in case status. And I'll move back into case status so that we can uh, get a good overview of what the automations look like. I can go to my personal injury practice area and we'll get the, the, the actual project type into the case status platform from Filevine. And now I can create automated triggers based off of that net promoter score, right? A simple rule that says all of my clients that are giving me eight, nines, and tens, or maybe nines and tens um, in the last three stages of the case. You know, I wanna send these clients a message with my Google business account, my Avo link, my super lawyer link. But then on the flip side, I can say, well, uh, if I'm getting clients that are giving me a six or below, uh, and let's you know, have that go in any single stage. I want that message to be something along the lines of, hey, it looks like we weren't able to you know, meet your expectations. Uh, how could we help? And so mining through this data is key. You know, converting these lower scores into positive scores by the end of the case uh, is, is obviously important. But striking while the iron's hot, right? You know, why wait till the end of the case to send a review if we now have the data to support that they're ready for a review right now? Or maybe a referral. Maybe we want to send messaging specific to referrals. We have a Your Team tab on the application that shows the client who is working on the case at all times, where you could easily refer them to friends and family members. To go uh, back to the automations, we have automated messages for the no case change, right? The famous no update update that I'm sure every single one of y'all are very used to giving out. It gets triggered if nothing is happening on the case. A client gets this message weekly, monthly, twice monthly, uh, where they get the message saying, hey, we're working on your case, no updates to report. If you have any questions, message us on case status. So this becomes this nice backup, this nice uh, 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 second option to really help supplement some of these manual phone calls, right? We can 
set up these automations so that we can have the automated messages living in specific stages. We don't want this robotic message to get sent over and over and over. We can have it set up so that when I move to the next stage of the case, it's still going to be set for the no case change, but maybe I want the message to say something slightly different. Maybe the fourth stage of the case is going to be a little longer, so I want the frequency to be more. Maybe I want a simple recurring message or a date-based message. Let's use the date-based message since we're getting the date of birth from Filevine, and it's a simple happy birthday message, right? Those little things that really go a long way for your client. So now these automations are set to work for you in the background, but to, from the client perspective, this is a personalized touch. They're constantly getting reminders. They're getting that peace of mind. They're getting those re, uh, reassure, uh, reassuring moments, knowing that they, that they, they, they made a good choice with, with their law firm. Uh, and that's essentially it from my end, guys, kind of a high level. Again, we obviously have plenty more that we can show, but obviously uh, is going to relate more on the actual practice area and kind of what your your day-to-day -day, uh, typically looks like, but uh, wanted to make sure that that uh, that I was able to you know, talk about a little, a little bit more about the automation set in place and just how file vine and case status can work together.